way, you know. So, uh, yeah, no, I know you seem pretty tough on Simon. I lean my name. <laughs> Megan. Megan, yeah, good stuff. It was stuff, actually yeah. nice chatting to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. No, to you. Yeah. It was actually nice. Yeah, lovely stuff. No, I might catch you later anyway then. Okay, so, yeah. Biology. Yeah. Well, man and woman, I'm male and female, it's a, it's, a, it's a dichotomous situation. Man is male, female is woman. That's how it is. That's how it is in our world. You guys have a different definition for those things. So I'm wondering why you don't just make up another word. Why do you have to take the word that we've been using now for thousands of years and corrupt its meaning? I mean, I'm a man yeah. and you're a woman. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what your feelings are. But then there's non binary, right? So that's no, there isn't. There's men and women and there's mental illness. It's in their head. It's not in their arm. It's not in their toe. It's not in their cells. It's not in their liver. Yeah. It's only here. The only place it manifests is in the brain. So that would seem to suggest, in my limited knowledge of how things work, that that would be a psychological issue. But if it's currently I think it's wrong when a person has to use hormones and chemicals and surgery to, to manifest their body. Well, what about hormones and, like, and medicine to make cure cancer? It's not medicine body? because hormones aren't approved for the use that you're using them for. The hormones are not approved for giving to children. And neither is that drug that they give to the uh, prisoners in America. What's it called? Luprom. Uh, Luprom is the one that they give. My issue is that children, children are being indoctrinated to believe that the solution to their teenage angst is to dismember either their penis, their vagina or their boobs. That is not a solution to any problem. That is the person's life. They get repeated infections, they have to use antibiotics all their lives, they have wounds that are weak, the surgery doesn't hold itself like you see on on this face is after years. The vagina disintegrates, the penis disintegrates, and that's why the suicide rate peaks at seven to ten years after surgery. But why would you want but then also like trans people have the highest rate of suicide anyway when they're not when they're not accepted? So not why would you encourage it? Why would you encourage transgenderism if it causes suicide? Because that suicide is caused by the rejection of society. We've had transgender no no we've had transgender people on television forever. Yeah. Transgender people have been on television forever, so they have. We don't reject transgender people. We reject surgery, plastic surgery, skin grafts on children. That's what we reject. And no one on the age of age has the capacity to make such decisions. And no adult has the right to indoctrinate a child so they feel like that that is the right. No one's being indoctrinated. No adult has the right. No adult has the right. No adult has the was the largest payout, criminal Joe. payout, from a medical corporation Joe, Joe, in the history yeah, of the world at the time. 874 million euro dollars paid out because of the drug that you guys use to, to transition children. It's used as no to castrate rapists and murderers. That's the drug that's been given to children to stop their uh, puberty. And it's not approved for that use. If, hang on, are you comfortable with our government allowing the use of unapproved drugs on children? I don't, I'm not going to say yes, I don't know. So that's, that's a note you are comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with what I see in my experience with trans people and their experience with my body, but I want that person to be able to make decisions for themselves. Well, I understand what you're saying, yeah. but why does that suit decision involve hormones and surgery? Because I suppose why do people do a lot of things? Like why do people dye their hair? Why do people do other so things? You're making an equivalence between dyed hair and chopping off I'm your not penis? Flip it, no. you That's what you just did. I'm saying that there's a lot of things that we do to change our appearance. Yes, indeed. And there's a lot of things that we do because of mental illness. But 
that's understanding that also there's people who are born with an illness who have to do things to keep themselves healthy. Yes, and that doesn't include making it worse by causing your your genitals to be cut off and become repeatedly infected but some because it's a it. very complicated yeah. surgery I, that I, results I, in 67% complication rate oh my God. that actually causes yeah. the life to be shortened. But Why has the number of people who are detransitioning jumped by 40,000 in three years? Because more trans people are able to explore whether or not they actually are trans. So what do they do now that they want to detransition and they no longer have there their penis? There's other surgeries. They get so they can put their penis back on, you think? Can I tell you? So they can be themselves. The amount of people that detransition are less than 1%. There's 40,000 people have detransitioned in three years. There's 40,000 people who, people like this, told to chop off their penis when they were a child, and they regret it when they're older, and they can't put their penis back on. And they can't ever have children. And that decision was made for them by adults when they were children. Are you the idea? Do you support circumcision? Do you support circumcision? Therefore, the child cannot agree to that. Yeah, that's a baby. Whereas I don't support any form of okay. genital or, mutilation. No, listen. I don't want any genital mutilation. I don't want female genital mutilation. Yeah. I don't want male genital mutilation. I don't want shiny. I don't want anybody mutilating their genitals. Okay. You know, they're not children because in this country... You're a child. Listen, in this country... You're a child. And I'm not Yeah, but listen, you talk about it. Listen, I'm useless. Yeah, exactly. You have to be 18. That is an adult. And what age are you? Sure. How does that matter? Because if you're not over the age of 18, what's happening here is illegal. No, but because all of these people should have guard a clearance for speaking to you. And they don't. Why don't you have guard a clearance? Do you have guard a clearance? Drag me. And he was out here speaking to a 50 year old. But you're, you're here talking to me. It's making people aware. You held this gathering, this encounter with the past. So now that you're aware that your drag queens don't have guard experience, can I ask what you're going to do about it? You're told it's okay. You're not going to do anything about it. Do you have guard Do you have guard clearance? I didn't organize this. The kids are talking to me. You're here harassing. You don't have the right to discriminate kids with your big fancy clothes. Discriminate kids with your big fancy clothes. What are you talking about? I'm here to say that you need to damage your skin. Yeah, but you're damaging your skin. 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 You're damaging